Hello, my name is Cathy Debrezzani. I'm one of the leaders of the Orchestra of the Age of Enlightenment. Uh, and I'll be leading the Four Seasons, Vivaldi's Four Seasons, on the 11th of February uh, at King's Place. And this is a series of videos for that turning point audiences uh, to, that explore a little bit about the piece, how Vivaldi wrote it, why he wrote it, and why we play it the way that we do. Uh, firstly, I'd like to talk about how Vivaldi writes for strings specifically, as opposed to any other instruments, which was the vogue before Vivaldi in the 17th century. So in Italy, if you take something like 1610, uh, if a composer writes a sonata, say Giovanni Cima writes a little sonata, then he puts onto it per soprano which doesn't mean for soprano singer, it means for a soprano instrument. So it could be violin and it could be interchangeable with a recorder or with a cornetto or with any other instrument that has that range of, the, of, um, of, of, of soprano instruments. Um, now, when Vivaldi comes along um, about a century later, uh, things have changed. And with, within the 17th century, composers in Italy and in Germany have explored what the violin can do as opposed to the recorder or the cornetto, or indeed the harpsichord or the cello. So how does Vivaldi do that? Well, let's take an example. This is from winter. And the beginning of the winter solo section goes like this. Now, if you try singing that, I think, well, I come a cropper in about note number three. Um, if you try playing that on the harpsichord, you come a cropper, I'll tell you where, and also in note number three, when you start repeating the notes. So, uh, each note is repeated twice. And that is very, very easy to do on the violin, because the bow repeats the notes very quickly. <laughs> That's a device that no other instrument, not the recorder, not the cornetto, and certainly not the harpsichord, um, can do. But string instruments, because they have the bow, can speak in this very nice, repetitive, speaking, talking way. So this... <laughs> this scale is easy on the harpsichord, easy on the recorder, but the little repeated notes are not. So he uses this device, for example, in summer. Let's see. Uh, beginning of the third movement of summer. Uh, yes, uh, the summer storm. Um, again, all that he does is repeated notes, which are very easy to do on the bow and sound very impressive and virtuosic on the instrument. They are not possible to do on anything else but string instruments. Um, another device that he uses are double stops. So, for example, in autumn, we have... Uh, and so on and so forth. Yes, and there's a little sequence, which is something that Vivaldi loves, loves and knows how to use, uh, going upwards in the same pattern. Um, the pattern is basically playing two strings at the same time. So instead of doing just one string at a time... Uh, or uh, you, do, you strike two strings at the same time and you get a much richer texture because it's like two instruments playing at the same time. It's like two violins playing, but in one. So um, that is also something that, you know, you, you try playing that on the recorder, it's just not possible unless you sing as well as you play. And that is actually something that, for example, 20th century composers explore. Um, but Normally speaking, um, pre 20th century speaking, um, I'll come into Cropper for that. Um, uh, speaking from from the from the idiom of the of the 18th century, um, the melodic instruments usually played one line at a time. So playing double stops is a novelty that was introduced in the 17th century in Italy and Germany, and Vivaldi knows very well how to explore it. So these are just a few of the techniques, the repeated notes, the double stops, um, and so forth, that he uses, which are very idiomatic to the instrument. So in the next video, we're going to explore more about this idiomatic writing in terms of virtuosity, specifically for the fiddle.